Good morning, Parkside. Welcome to this week's encouragement video. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, you know, it is hot this week. It is super hot. And I, I wonder if, you know, you've been outside, maybe you, you were mowing the grass a while ago. Of course, we haven't mowed it in quite a while, but uh, you've been outside and it's been hot and you have a favorite drink that is just refreshing to you. Maybe you love your your sweet tea, maybe it's a, a Diet Coke, maybe you love the, the lemonade or you put the sweet tea and the, the lemonade together for the Arnold Palmer, but you know what is that refreshing beverage for you on a hot summer afternoon. And it's like, man, I just long for that. I long for that refreshment. Oh, it feels so good just to feel that for me, it's an Arnold Palmer going down like, oh my goodness, that's amazing. Well, Proverbs 11.25 ties in that imagery of refreshment on a hot day. And it says, he who refreshes others will himself be refreshed. And I love that because so frequently I think of, man, what do I want? I want that Arnold Palmer. That will be so refreshing. And what Proverbs in its wisdom says is true refreshment is found not in others pouring themselves out for me, but actually in me pouring myself out for others. And uh, that obviously takes some energy. It's not natural for any of us. Uh, but today, Parkside, I just want to encourage you with the thought of Proverbs eleven twenty five: As you refresh others, you too will be refreshed. The Lord will strengthen you. He will sustain you. Uh, and so as it's hot outside, as you think of longing that for that cold drink of water, uh, I want you to think of who's somebody perhaps in my family, maybe uh, maybe somebody within my office or uh, somebody on our, our street, our neighborhood, that I could refresh them. I could think of a way to bless them uh, in, in just a simple way, a little thing. It doesn't have to be a big thing, but Proverbs 11.25 says, He who refreshes others will himself be refreshed. Uh, and I think that that, that passage will be a blessing to you and will, I hope, strengthen and guide you today, Parkside. Now, this coming Sunday, I am really excited. Here's what's coming up. We have a couple baptisms. I love Baptism Sunday. It is a celebration, and I look forward to, to partying with you, Parkside, this Sunday uh, as we have two people following Christ in Believer's Baptism. Super excited for that. We also have a new song that our band has been working on. Uh, they're excited to teach it to you. Uh, you can see the link in this video. I hope you'll listen to that this week uh, so that on Sunday you're ready to sing. The instrument of the church is the human voice. Sure, there's guitars and drums and pianos and flutes and all of that, and it changes you know, over the centuries, but the human voice is always the instrument of the church. And so I look forward to hearing you sing this new song. Uh, take a second to listen to that. Uh, through the link. Uh, I hope you have a great day and a great week. You see an opportunity to refresh others and in so doing to be your refreshed yourself. Parkside, I love you. Have a great day. We'll see you Sunday.